I hope you've got your beers packed up because Oktoberfest 2020 is still happening. It's just Dan Alton Towers and Thorpe Park instead. Hello there guys, my name is Coaster Child, dogs to born but built for theme park, factual entertainment and welcome to this theme park newsroom update where today we're going to be talking about the Alton Towers Resort and I guess a little bit about Thorpe Park as well because um, both of them have got their Oktoberfest events, they're both still going ahead, but Alton Towers have released more details on it, uh, including specific times, dates. We will do a separate video for Thought Park Resort once we know more information from their Thought Park Oktoberfest event. But we do have specific details and times, uh, as well as operating times for the attractions. So that's why this video is the Alton Towers Oktoberfest. But I thought I'd mention a little bit just now about Thought Park Oktoberfest. Because uh, so, that's still going ahead as well. That was announced to go ahead along with Fright Nights. So, you know, that's the end of Thought Park in this video. <laughs> um, but yeah, Thought Park will be talked about more in that separate video about Thought Park Oktoberfest. Once we get even more details about that event. So... Ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about Alton Towers Oktoberfest 2020. So, before we get started, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share with your friends, your family, and your social media, and all that good stuff. And for now, guys, let's get into this Alton Towers Oktoberfest newsroom update. So, according to the official website, delightfully themed entertainment for all ages and delicious food, all wrapped up in a cheerful and ideal for families atmosphere with a German twist. You'll have the chance to ride a selection of thrillful, world-class roller coasters and fantabulous family faves as darkness falls. Enjoy an awesome choice of delightfully themed entertainment of all ages and try some utterly delicious food. All of that in a cheerful, family-friendly atmosphere with a German twist. Don't miss out. From 3pm each day, an area of the theme park will be transformed into Bavarian themed venue, complete with lederhosen clad hosts and oompa band. It will offer the perfect setting for families and friends looking to explore new delicious dishes and live outdoor entertainment in a fun, family friendly atmosphere. Guests will be able to enjoy Oktoberfest atmosphere and enjoy entertainment within the price of a theme park ticket. Pre-booking your ticket in or short break in advance is essential. You'll be able to enjoy all the world-class attractions, rising attractions in the evening. Uh, so for those of you who need times of operation, Monday to Thursday, rising attractions are all open until 6pm. And then on Friday, Saturdays and Sundays, the rising attractions will close at 8pm, except CBB's Land, which will be closed an hour earlier. So basically on Friday, Saturdays and Sundays, CBB's Land will be open until 7pm, and then the rest of the rides will be open until 8pm. So... For those of you who need dates and times, this will operate between the 11th of September and the 4th of October, with day passes starting from £34 per person. So that is the details on Alton Towers Oktoberfest 2020. So if you want to book your tickets in advance, I will leave that website link in the description of the video. You can find it in the description yourself, and you can book your tickets in advance for Oktoberfest. So that will be starting uh, midway through September, right up until before Scarefest begins. Now, of course, we spoke about Scarefest in the previous video. Uh, you can check out that video on the channel right now. But, from Oktoberfest point of view, I think this is a very strong event. Now, of course, they are doing it, like I said, at Thorpe Park as well. You know, I think that this is going to be a great event. I think that Alton Towers are really doing themselves justice with this event. I think it's a good, nice, different event to bring the crowds back in after this pandemic and to help, you know, create a bit more of an atmosphere within the park, uh, give the park some, some much-needed culture, uh, you know get everyone happy get everyone excited and things like that So, you know, I wasn't surprised at this announcement of Oktoberfest because you know We kind of saw it coming before the pandemic to be fair um, But it's nice to, to see these events to get us you know hyped up again uh, So the fact that they're going to be transforming an area of the park into a into an Oktoberfest Bavaria section of the park from 3 p.m. onwards you know that's good science because it gives you it gives you a chance from ten till three to you know um, you know warm up, get some rides and things like that, and then you can do some re rides from three pm onwards along with the Bavaria setting. 
So, you know, I think that we're on a good event this year. I think that Oktoberfest will be a good event this year. I don't know whether I'll be... I don't think I'll be there, unfortunately, this year. Uh, but if it is going on next year as well, then I'll surely be able to check it out next year. If they're going to do Oktoberfest again next year in 2021. Um, but for this year's event, I'm sure it will be an amazing event. Everyone will have a great time. And, you know, it's one of those cheer up events that you want to see in theme parks at the minute. So, uh, yeah, those are the details on Alton Towers Oktoberfest 2020. Again, I'll say it again. Links in the description down below for that uh, website link where you can check out and you can pre book your tickets for yourself or do your short breaks in advance where you can check into the Alton Towers Hotel, the CBB's Line Hotel, the Splash Landings Hotel, and you can also check into the Enchanted Village Resort. So, thank you very much, guys, for watching this news update. Make sure you go check out all of our other videos over the last couple of days. We've got another news update coming today from Welby, Belgium, and then we're going to re upload the Six Flags announcement video compilation. I've decided to do it. 2016 to 2020 because it's the last five years pretty much so it makes a lot of sense to be fair that's why i took it down in the first place because i wanted to uh uh make it 2016 to 2020 i had a last minute decision so uh i'll re-upload that tonight uh but for now guys thank you very very much my name is coach shell kill on the coast of life and i'll see you guys in the next video very very soon take care have an awesome day